What's up guys, it's Revo. Um, I am here back again. This time I'm gonna be doing another reaction, except instead of doing a horror movie, I'm going to be doing a horror movie. <laughs> I'm gonna be reacting to Guillermo del Toro's Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I think that's what it's called. But I heard that Guillermo, Guillermo was gonna be doing a new movie and I am a huge fan of his. I love all of the movies he's done from, um, from Devil's Backbone to Pan's Labyrinth to Shape of Water. All of these movies are, are bomb. So I actually am looking forward to watch this trailer. I'm actually expecting to get scared, but I'm not sort of scared to get scared, if that makes any sense. In the last reaction video I did, I did it with clowns. and I don't like clowns. I don't fuck with clowns. But I like Guillermo del Toro, so I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to like his style. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Oh wait, I'm not even ending the video. Hold up, I'm gonna edit this out. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, I'm gonna play the video in just a bit. Um, after I watch the video, I'm gonna give you guys a little talk about how, how I felt about the video, obviously. Uh, so, let's, um, let me, I'm gonna wait till my controller starts working. It's been bugging for like a few days. Alright. Three, two... What? Fuck! <laughs> Don't stop the recording! It's messing Three, up! Three, two, one, let's go! What's that? It's your book of scary stories. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Some people believe that if we repeat creepy. stories often enough, they become real. They make us who we are. Even me get vibes, but kind of like. Okay. This is gonna be a movie where Guillermo del Toro makes his life the monster. I feel like some kids went missing, so they boarded it up. Okay, we saw it. We gonna boarded the chicken. Guillermo del Toro, there he is. It's a book of scary stories. Tell me a story. Harold. Oh! Okay. I don't like that thing. Uh, yeah, he looks good. Hey, what's going on? Tommy's missing. Tommy, his name was in the book. There's no way it's actually connected, right? Hey, what, is what happens in the book is exactly what's happened for him. Oh my god. Stella! Listen, you're in the next story. We're reading it right here. It's a corpse looking for her missing toe. This August, that's the next book. That's this coming from. She didn't have to take a book. write themselves and it all comes alive. The Jingle Man is going to be one of the... Oh! Oh! Okay! Scary stories to tell in the dark. So there you guys go, scary stories to tell in the dark. That actually didn't freak me out as much as I thought it was going to. It wasn't like clown sort of scariness. It was kind of creepy though. The the sort of like monsters that are put in there are very Guillermo-esque. You can tell that they're very practical. None of them are CGI, so that's kind of cool. Makes them a little bit more... I feel like it's going to be creepier on the big screen than watching it in here, but... I don't know how I feel about it just yet. I think it's going to be kind of scary, but it could be one of those things that's scary, but also has a good story, so it'd be less scary. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. I am curious about it, so I'm definitely going to might want to catch this in theaters. Um, that's just me. So, I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys on the same boat? Does it look kind of not too scary, but kind of scary? Like, not super scary, if you know what I mean? Um, and... 
yeah, if you guys liked the video, be sure to like the video, subscribe, let me know what you guys think, and um, I'm doing a lot of reactions, as you can tell, two in a row, so we'll see if I do another one.